Hey guys, welcome to video three of my five video series on how to live a healthy lifestyle. It's my recipe that I call it on how to live a healthy life. And today we're all gonna talk about exercise and movement and why that is so important in your life and in order to live a healthy lifestyle. Hey guys, if you don't know me, my name is Christina Walsh and every week on this channel, I share my passion and love for health and fitness. I, lo I love to help women to build stronger minds and stronger bodies and live their best and healthiest life. So in today's video, we are going to talk about exercise and movement and why that is so important for your body. So let me just start quick disclaimer here is you know, if I'm talking about working on an exercise, this is if, you know, you're somebody who is healthy enough to do that. You always want to make sure you talk to your doctor before you get involved in any type of workout or exercise program um, and make sure there's no, you know, limitations that you have. Okay. But this video is, you know, just for information. Um, and, you know, if you are someone who's able to work out and is healthy enough to do that, then here are some helpful tips. Okay. So first of all, there's, you know, two things that um, I want to talk about first is exercise and then movement in general. Okay, so exercise, you know, that's when we're working on like getting our heart rate up or maybe um, strength training or things like that. So let's talk about that first. Um, again, everyone likes to do different kinds of things, but I do want to say like my best recommendation when it comes to exercise, you know, for your average person. Um, depending on what your goals are. But I really do think it's important to incorporate like some strength training, you know, some type of HIIT training where you're getting your heart rate up because, you know, your heart is a muscle and you need to work that too. And, you know, like HIIT cardio, um, you know, some regular cardio work as well. So, you know, what that might look like is maybe two to three days a week, you're lifting weights. And then two days a week, you're doing some type of, you know, hit um, workout or maybe cycling or, you know, whatever it may be, it has to be something that you enjoy. And, you know, I know not everybody likes lifting weights or some women have an idea that if they're lifting weights, they're gonna look bulky. But when you lift weights, it actually, um, as you build muscle, it helps to burn fat. So lifting weights can be something that can help you get to your goals a little bit quicker if you do have um, a goal of like fat loss. Um, also, the more muscle you have, the more um, energy you burn. So that, you know, that's another way to look at it. So incorporating some strength training, you know, and having someone help you come up with an organized plan um, because, you know, this other, there's a lot that goes into it. You want to make sure that you're not using the same muscle groups two days in a row. You want to make sure you're getting rest time in between, you know, so that might look like, you know, on a Monday you're doing upper body work on a Friday, you're doing lot of lower body work in, in the middle on Wednesday, you're doing like a full body workout or something, you know, but again, you want to make sure that you're not just going out there and throwing weights around. You want to make sure you're doing it with a purpose, right? You want to make sure it's right for your body, but strength training is really going to be important in your health journey. And then, like I said, also our heart is a muscle. So we need to work that as well. And doing, you know, HIIT training, you might hear like Tabata, things like that um, is really important. It helps to get your heart rate up. You work really um, hard for a, you know, short period of time and then take a break, work really hard and take a break. And you can get, you know, results in a shorter period of time. You just really kind of have to push yourself um, during those workouts, but you know, they're quick and effective. And I usually recommend doing those a couple of times a week. Um, but, you know, if, if you don't like that, you know, even uh, getting some cardio in it is, it is important for your heart. So maybe um, a jog or cycling, but you also don't want to like, um, you know, put too much stress on your body. So here's the thing, like if you do jog or cycle, you want to, you know, kind of limit it a little bit because it does cause like stress and cortisol in your body and you don't want, um, you don't want too much of that either. So you know, you don't necessarily have to go on and do hours of cardio, like jogging and cycling, like maybe, you know, a 30 minute, you know, jog might be enough for you. So um, that's kind of how you can structure your workouts, you know, alternating between strength training and getting your heart rate up with like HIIT training or, you know, jogging or cycling or something like that. I love Zumba. So um, that's how I incorporate some of my like cardio and um, throughout the week I do Zumba. 
So again, it has to work for you, but also having a plan can be helpful too. And then the second part is movement in general. So I don't think we give movement in general enough credit. You know, um, the things like taking stairs in, instead of the elevator or parking your car further away and having to walk, or even just like going for a walk, you know, even on those days that you're not strength training, sometimes just going for a walk, um, you know, you might not necessarily be getting your heart rate up really, really um, high, but sometimes just going for walks can actually be really beneficial. So if you can't fit in like, you know, a um, workout someday, you know, but maybe you can fit in like a quick walk, maybe you're at work and you have a lunch break and you can take like a stroll around or something that is really important. That movement is going to help. So, um, you know, other things that you can do like for movement, like, you know, if, if you do have, um, a job that you're sitting at often, maybe you have a meeting, you know, planning after a meeting to go for a walk, or maybe, um, you know, getting one of those desks that you're standing at. So at least like you're not sitting all day um, that can, you know, even be helpful, but other things like, you know, gardening and things like that um, can be really um, an important part of living a healthy lifestyle. Cause you just want to get more movement in general in, in your life. All right. So start incorporating some exercise and more movement into your life. And you're definitely going to see changes. Um, all these things, you know, help with release, relieving stress. It can be a great stress reliever. Um, you know, they also like help those like happy horm um, endorphins in your brain. You know, when you work out, you feel like really good after because it releases those like happy chemicals <laughs> in your brain. Um, so, you know, can't stress enough how important it is to move and like fit in workouts. I know for me, like a workout is kind of like a therapy session. It always makes me feel better after. All right. So find some time to get it in when you can. If you're looking for some, some support with that, you can always reach out to me. Um, you know, my links should be below. You can reach out to me on social media or leave a comment below or whatever it is. And I'm happy to, um, help you get started with something. And as always, guys, have an amazing day.